What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about these little guys right here. Diamond Piers. See right there, Diamond Pier Foundation System. So what these basically are is a foundation. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through how we've done it. I got some video of us putting them in and everything. Um, but really what these allow you to do is build you know, has set your foundation and build in the same day, which is, is awesome for deck builders, for uh, remodelers, for, for stuff where sometimes you don't have the time to, to bring in a bunch of concrete or to, to, you don't have the weather to, to wait for concrete to dry. Um, not saying that this replaces concrete fully, but it definitely does in some situations. Um, you can hear in the background the jackhammer probably that's, you know, we're setting up here right now. So what we do, or what we have is we got, each pier has these four holes in it, and they're all set at a, at a different angle in, in the ground, basically. And we take these galvanized pipes right here, these are all four foot lengths, you know, because here in Wisconsin, the frost line is, is 42 inches, or southeast Wisconsin, 42, so we, we just go four foot down, we're safe. So you can take one of these, you see the nice galvanized pipe, and you put it, in on this angle and that gets driven down four feet and basically creates a pile of earth and because these are all at different angles the way it's grabbing that earth is creating the foundation for you without having to do any digging i mean you have to dig a little bit we always set these these piers um to to this line where this is above the earth and this is buried below it but uh, Diamond Pier did a 10-year study in Minnesota to make sure these weren't going to move with the frost heave and everything, and they haven't. Because you're, you're grabbing a much larger section of earth. You know, your, your pier, your foundation is, 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 is effectively larger than what, you know, a, an 8-inch, 12-inch sono tube going 4 foot down is. And what a big advantage of that is if you think of a frost heave, if you're in a northern climate, that when the ground freezes, it's going to push up on that concrete pile straight up because it has nowhere else to go. Whereas this, it's going to push around these four one-inch diameter posts. You know, the, the earth is going to move around that much, much easier and not necessarily push up because it's on an angle. The fr frost rises up, right? It's not going to push something out on an angle. And because these are all going different directions, it locks everything in place. So let me take you through... Um, what we've done here, we got a couple extras. That's what I'm showing you right now. Um, show you how they work and what we're gonna do. Guys, so while I'm actually here at my lumber yard, they have a little display for Diamond Pier, and I think it's gonna help explain things a little bit better if you're not familiar with these things. So let me show you. Here is their little display. This is, I mean, you can see how small this is, but this gives you a real good idea as to what Diamond Pier does and how. Uh, these pins, this pin foundation actually works. So you see these are all on angles. I'm not sure which way I spin it, it's all on angles. So you just gently drive, gently, <laughs> with the jackhammer. But you can, you know, you can, you can see how these all get driven in. So you start with it just sitting on the ground like that, and you drive those all in so that eventually you have that. Where, you know, I'm pushing down on this as hard as I can, and these are not are not moving. I mean, that's one hand, but you can see how because of these angles, sorry, the camera, this isn't going anywhere. They have a couple different versions for, for home use, a 75 pound pier and a 50 pound pier, but they also have commercial versions that can withstand a ton more weight and different size pins. So j just a little cut cutaway here, like I said, but when you are interested in using these, please check your local code, make sure that you're, that everybody's okay, the city, the state, whatever, the inspector's okay with you guys using these. Because they are very, very useful, but you gotta make sure you can use them and you're using the right length pins, the right size pier, all that stuff. All right, back to what I was doing. So here is four of the six piers that we've set. So we just set that one right there. These three were already done. And we got those two over there holding up these six by sixes. You can see we got these nice little caps right there, these caps. And there's our pipe and what these pipes are hollow for is so that if you have an inspector or if these are allowed in your area you always got to check your local code 
is you can take a tape measure and stick that all the way down through there and verify that this is going down four foot or whatever your your frost line is they all come with a single bolt on the top which therefore you can use these plates and put your post wherever you want so they work with four by fours they work with six by sixes and you can shift these around based on the, the post bases so you got a little bit of slot in there with the base and you can push these around so that you don't need to be dead center accurate all the time but it definitely helps to plumb your lines and make sure that this is as straight as possible but in this situation we got a pier underneath a stair here we wouldn't really be able to get an auger in there and dig a hole to get where we need to go so we were able to remove a couple treads and risers and bring that jackhammer through there to set this pier so it just made our lives a whole lot easier to do that so now take you some, through some video of us setting these piers before and we'll come back and talk about it later. So during this sped up clip here I'll just talk a little bit more about the pin, pins and things that I wasn't able to show in the video. Uh, one big thing to note is at the end of each of these pins is actually a pointy end that helps the pin get driven through the ground a whole lot easier and also prevents dirt from filling the pin. Uh, that way when the inspector comes to, to inevitably inspect it he can actually get his tape all the way down through that pin without it hitting dirt. So it's a, it's a key thing and it, you know, it helps it be driven into the ground a whole lot easier. Another thing to note is you can see how uh, Ruben here is working the pins in a circle. He's not just driving one in all the way through. Um, that really helps the, the whole diamond pier stay centered as to where you, you, we realistically wanted that. We're not driving it too far off because this 35 pound sledge can really push that pier all over the place. So you kind of work it in a circle kind of like you tighten the lug nuts on a, on a car tire or whatever. Um, so it's very easy, you know, in this situation you can see it was super soft ground. We got a lake about 100 yards away where really driving these pins in was, was very, very easy. If it was a much harder ground, it would take a lot more time um, where we'd have to basically drive these pins maybe a, a foot at a time as opposed to, you know, two feet at a time or whatever. So setting all of these piers this whole time took a couple hours. And these two piers, you know, setting these took, you know, maybe six minutes total. So, I, you know, I sped this video up two and a half times. So it really shows how fast this process is. Here's the jackhammer we use to set those things. Uh, what we do is it uses a, a, a pier driving bit. I think these is actually made by Diamond Pier, but it got this little knob on there where it goes around the pipe so you don't damage that end. And I've only seen it being used or made for SDS, or uh, true jackhammer style, I forget what this attachment end is, but they don't make them for an SDS Max. Wish they did, because then I wouldn't have to rent this, this big hammer, but it's just a standard jackhammer. You can certainly go bigger, you can certainly go smaller with, with the jackhammer. Um, a lot of it depends on the soil condition you're doing here too. You do so soil or a light soil, sand, clay, should go relatively easily. But if you got real rocky soil, real hard packed soil, maybe a bigger one's not a bad idea. But got all these piers set. Um, these six piers ultimately took two hours maybe to set all these and we're building. So this particular job, we're, we're giving the deck a facelift, we're doing new fascia, we're doing new ASIC railings, we're not touching the deck boards. We had to re-level and plumb the whole deck because the whole thing was all cattywampus all over the place. But if we had to dig holes, set sauna tubes in concrete, we wouldn't be anywhere near as far as we are right now. So the diamond piers are truly our time saver. Um, we like to use them whenever we can. Again, they're not a replacement for concrete. They are... Uh, concrete alternative we'll say hopefully that sounds right but anyways guys if you like what you're watching please like subscribe comment let me know what you sorry using the phone today not the gopro let me know if you like diamond pier if you are interested in using them again or using them in general um, they cost about 150 bucks us a piece um, they're made in illinois to my knowledge so check them out on instagram diamond pier real simple um, I got mine through my local lumber yard. I believe Home Depot sells them. I don't know who else does, but they're really, really cool. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, hope you learned something, and let me know if you're going to use Diamond Pier in the future.